All wrapped up here at the Raymond McInhill Stadium. A 2-1 win for Chippenham Town today in their pre-season fixture against Salisbury. Talk us through your thoughts on that one, guys. Yeah, it's good. Another good, real, real good test for us. Lots of lots of positives. Um, and uh, as always, um, you know, we're looking for performances rather than results certainly at this stage. Um, and and again, not to repeat myself from the previous ones and, and, and getting minutes into people, but um, yeah, some some really good performances, some great passages of play, um, and and yeah, some good things to work on as well. So yeah, a, a really pleasing day. A little turn about the result. I don't know, the result isn't the important thing, but yeah, I went behind to a goal from a former player today, Gary Noah Coppin, who's now behind his trade at Salisbury. I thought the lads responded fantastically to going behind and rightly got themselves back in it with a goal there from Tom Owen Evans with his first Chippenham goal of his new time and a well, well deserved one. Yeah, look, we could have, I think we could have gone in front um, on, on a couple of occasions and we taken our chances and taken a bit more care in the final, final third, but um, what yeah, again, it was pleasing to, to, to come back and scored a, uh, you know, a, a really good goal. Quick thinking from, from, from Matty allowed us to get in and score. So um, that, that was good. But um, yeah, a little bit of work to do as, as well in terms of just uh, controlling the game a bit better when we don't have the ball. And so being out of possession and, and, and almost embracing the fact sometimes that you don't need to have the ball and be good at that. So, um, but um, so other than that last sort of 15 minutes, I thought we controlled the game quite well. And uh, second goal, got rightly got back in front, Gary through the changes. It was uh, Faz came on with Alex Bray, first game of pre-season for him. And it was Alex that got down the left-hand side and reminded us what a dangerous player he can be. His cross came in and uh, it was turned in, I believe, as an own goal. But Matt McClaw's in the bar trying to claim it at the moment. Yeah, no, I think it was definitely Matty's. Um, so so let, let's um, get him off and, off and running with more goals. So, um, no, look, to answer the question, a real positive for us today to have Alex back. You know, we've been nursing him through um, pre-season, getting him minutes and just building him up gradually. Um, so he was another one of the real positives from, from today. And, and yeah, again, look, when we get into the season, we'll be, we'll be asking the, the, the subs to have an impact when they come on. So um, both of those that you've mentioned did that. And, uh, yeah, you know, managed to, uh, to, to, to set up that goal for, for what turned out to be the winner. And no disrespect, of course, to the guys that we've played in pre-season so far, but uh, a little bit of a, a Wiltshire derby feel to this one today. I mean, I think you and I will probably remember a long time ago, this used to be a massive occasion when Chippenham played Salisbury, but they certainly bought with them a little bit of extra bite today and added probably that little bit of tempo that you've certainly needed over the last couple of games to show the lads, look, you know, match ready, this is where we're at. And credit to Salisbury, they gave you a good show today. Yeah, look, the pitch helps for a start. You know, the pitch is, pitch is in decent nick um, and, the, and the constant rain um, has, has kept that and allowed it to to sort of um, encourage that sort of, yeah, like you said, that little bit of bite and that devilment in the game, really. So there was nothing in terms of, of that. It just added to the tempo, which was which was nice, really. So we said all along we'd, we'd sort of build up our own sort of plans in pre-season and uh, that, that was why we wanted to come here. It's a good side. Brian's got himself a good team here and, uh, you know, they're coached well. They gave us some, some, some real problems. It was a good game and an even game and, um, yeah, a, a thoroughly enjoyable one that, Gave us lots of stuff to look at and work on and lots of positives as well because there were some really, as I said before, some really good passages of play. And uh, we've uh, been away for quite a while, Gary, such as the pre-season schedule. A lot of games away from uh, the sort of form resurfacing in stadium. We head back there now for, to finish the, uh, the schedule off. Basingstoke on a Tuesday night. They had a good season last year. Basingstoke, another one that will surely provide you with a real, real good test. Yeah, look, it'd be good. It would be good to uh, to get home in front of the fans on Tuesday and, and then again on Saturday. So that would be really good. Um, but yeah, look, all the pre-season we wanted a, I say stiff test. I know there were no, um, you know, uh, sides at our level um, as such in terms of in terms of step. But but these are the sides that we're playing. We think will you know <coughs> do give us a, a really good test as as we saw today. So. Basingstoke are a good side. We watched them a couple of times last year, just to have a nose about what's around locally and stuff like that. And they you know, like I said they play some good stuff. They've, they've had some good players, and um, like I said, they're doing things right there. So it will, well, as you quite rightly said, give us a good test again on Tuesday, and hopefully, um, it'll be a good one for the fans to welcome back for, for the, what is the first game of pre-season. And of course, we wouldn't be doing our jobs properly, Gary, if we didn't have a little mention of the Saturday. Uh, it's billed as a family fun day, the community day, of course, a brain trial, a brainchild of myself. Your misses and a, a late night, a late night conversation about wanting to do something really sort of, you know, for the supporters, particularly for the young children of Chippenham. And uh, we've got that Ian Monnery Cup date against Melksham with a big family fun day, and I'm sure that's going to be a great occasion for you guys to get everyone in the community around you and really show what we've got going on with football in Chippenham. 
Yeah, hopefully. I just hope that we can we, we can now match, um, like I said, our performances of pre-season and, and some of the football that we've been we've been playing, and we can show people. You know, as I said, there's a there's a byproduct of them coming on the day just to to show them what we're doing and what we're trying to do right, so we can keep them entertained as well. But yeah, hopefully it'll be a good day. I, I know the, uh, the 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 players and and that are bringing their families along as well. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a, a, a good day for everybody. Good stuff. Well, Gary, we've got a few drinks in the bar to go and celebrate another victory in pre-season. Uh, let's go and get on with those. And uh, well done for today. And and uh, hopefully we'll see you Tuesday. Thank you.